Hey everybody, Radaman here. Thanks for tuning in to Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord, a Let's Play tutorial series. Here is the scenario settings voted on by all of you. Picking up where we left off, we are rebuilding our armies. We were hunting the heads of state. Um, the kings like Lucan. Um, but this episode, we have Britannia and the Southern Empire declaring war on one another creating an opportunity for us to take more territory because they will be weakened. Uh, so what I'm going to do... Oh, and Radagos is saying that he's been looking for me. Uh, he found my little brother and sister and former partner Galter betrayed him. We came into this camp to negotiate the kid's release. He seized us right then and there. He's scum, double-crossing, etc., etc. And he's going to tell us where Galter is. And we can go save my my siblings. Cool. Uh, well, that's definitely worth doing. So I have to go to this hideout to save my siblings. Consider it done. Oh, before I do that, I'm on a new beta branch, which means that a lot of my skill points reset. So I want to do Nimble Steed, Wall Strapped, Nomadic Traditions, uh, Well Built, Fury... Calvary and Braced. But that's just for me. Uh, my companions all have their own to go through. Oops, I was misclicked. Oh well, I guess you're going to be a little faster on your feet. I'm going sort of the tankier, more maneuverable uh, line here. Trying to put these in as fast as I can. I don't want to spend forever uh, describing what I'm doing. You can always check out these perks for yourself and make your own your own choices. But there we go. All the perks points put in. I'm just doing some recruiting so that I can have a nice army. So it looks like uh, Lenok Hen Castle is under siege, and that might be where I want to go. So we're going to wait till nightfall to attack these mountain bandits that uh, have kidnapped my siblings. Actually, I'll tell everyone to follow me. Come on, I shot you in the head. You should be dead. There, I shot you in the head and your neck. So there's only seven of them left alive, so it's not going to be that hard to clear out this bandit camp. basically empty, as you may have noticed. All of the... Oh, ow, that hurt. Alright, don't stand behind me because I can't see when all of your little things, symbols are blocking my view. Just 
Just trying for some long range shots. Not likely to hit him, but. Here's to trying. Alright, next stage of the fight will be a duel between me and the person that betrayed Radagos and kidnapped my siblings. This guy. And he's down. This means that I have rescued my family. Pretty easy. And he is being executed by Radagos. Boom. I'm gonna take everyone prisoner. Grab their their gear. And Noggin is my brother, and I've rescued him. Also. Alda and Varric are my siblings, younger brother and sister, and they are being taken to Jacqueline. Cool. And Radagos, I'm going to forgive him rather than punish him. So I've rescued my family. Alright, let's continue. Uh, all of my companions should be put on heavy cav. I'm going to level up everyone I can, because the next thing I do is probably going to be a castle siege, and then these recruits are going to be set to heavy infantry, so that I can level them up against looters. So they said that um, my siblings are at Jacqueline, but I doubt that's true, because I think they're probably at Veron Castle. So let's fill up my army as much as I can. Recruits, I don't care. Just gotta fill it up. And, uh... Lanark Hen Castle did just flip, so it should be an easy target. Ideally, I'd want a town, but towns are so much more difficult to, uh, to capture. They're just a lot more sieging and a lot tougher defenses. And I think... I think a castle is a good stepping stone towards a town. If I had a vassal, I'd do a town. The trouble is, uh, you have to pay vassals. So if I had, if I turned my companions into a, a party leader, um, it'd be expensive. And th that expense uh, would make it prohibitive. I would bankrupt myself pretty quickly. There's also the possibility of talking to Ospir and Lucian, who decided to join me in the past, or just recruit someone new right before I attack the castle for some added numbers. And it looks like Batania is raiding Len the, the castle back. They uh they just started attacking it. Oof. So Otto gotten take got taken by uh Sea Raiders, that's embarrassing. Okay, so now that my party is nice and full, I'm going to head towards Varon Castle to see if I can't find my brother. Looks like this is good information. There's a giant war party there. Len... Lenok Hen Castle doesn't have a lot of defenders. It would be pretty easy for me to take it. Providing the Inveth party doesn't come stomping for it. Oh, uh, big group of looters. This will be good for my recruits to level up on. Infantry! Have at him! So I'm going to tell all of my recruits to go attack. 60 recruits versus 44 looters. I'm going to get some of these looters' attention just to make the recruits have an easier time fighting. Recruits are really not useful in a castle siege because they take up spots on ladders and siege equipment, but they don't do a lot of damage. 
So it's really important to have as few recruits as possible because recruits also have very low morale and will flee. Um, yeah, they'll flee it basically the site of danger. All right, there are some um, looters over this way that are running. Waste not. So my recruits aren't going to be able to catch them. They're about the same speed on foot. And there we are. Uh, so one died, but uh, a ton of them leveled up, which is what we were going for. All right, heading to Varen Castle. Let's uh, let's level up these recruits all to footmen. Footmen are going to be probably a little bit more useful in the castle siege than um, crossbow. Here's Varon Castle and Noggins here. I'm going to take him to my party. So Noggin is my brother who will be acting as a companion but does not take a companion slot. So pretty powerful. He doesn't start with any gear as you can see. He's pretty naked. But he's got some skills, so let's put him as the Heavy Cavalry, just like our other companions. Um, we're going to have to equip him up eventually, because God, does he ever have garbage. Um, I did just kill a bunch of looters, so it's possible that we have some equipment for him in that... Uh, let's see. Barely any, I mean. Let's see. Some studded armor... Guarded hand ramps. His shoes are actually okay. Um, little cap. Yeah, that's all I can do for now. And if I check my clan tab, oh, that was kingdom. If I check my clan tab, uh, Varric and Alda are in. I don't know why you're over there, but um, Noggins with me. And they are safe and sound in the city. I do have one more companion slot, but I'm not ready to fill that up just yet. Uh, Varon Castle. No one in the garrison. And yeah, still building projects queued up. Good. Alright, so what I really need to do is to... Let's ransom off these looters that I don't want. Actually, I'm going to hit another, oops, that's not what I meant to click, uh, hitting another group of looters for my recruits to level up on. Food me! Not out here! Arrows! Everyone! Soldier! Infantry! Lord! I'm telling my companions to charge. Actually, no, I'm not. With me! I'm tell my companions to follow. So there's a few more looters than recruits, 28 recruits, 38 looters. So I'm a little worried about the looters taking out more recruits than they're meant to. But what I could do is just kill some of them myself to even the odds with my companions. To me, Dodge! So my companions are taking out this group here, sort of. So that my recruits can grind as much as they can. Give up hell! All right, let the uh, let my companions free. I should level up a few more of the recruits. Yep, uh, yep, bunch of them leveled up. I didn't have any knockouts or losses, which is really good. Some equipment. And let's go to Pen. And then we'll size up what that raid party that was large. Because obviously I don't want to start sieging a castle. Um if there's a rather large party to attack me immediately if I win. 
right? That there's not much of a point there. All right. I'm also going to buy a bunch of grapes and grain. And then let's go see about that war party. They were here. I don't see them anymore. So I'm going to take a big old chance here. Lenoch Hen Castle, I will siege you. Uh, so the way to do this would be, ideally, to declare war on the Southern Empire hmm, through attacking one of their vassals. That is not, well, ooh, Legata is actually under siege. Never mind. Uh, scratch that. If Southern Empire can weaken Legata, oh, that would be a really good city to have. And it looks like that is happening. It'd be right next to Vron Castle, so it'd be kind of perfect. Uh, what did I level up in riding? Ooh. Let's do Sweeping Wind. Campaign speed 2%. If that perk even works. And then if this perk even works, Inspiring Attacker would be nice over Inspiring Defender. Len Hanok Castle's actually under siege right now. Someone beat me to the punch. Probably by a Batanian. Yep, Caladog. And Legata just flipped. So what I needed to do is I need to wait for Faron to go away, essentially. So I can snipe Legata. Oh, they're hanging out here. I'm going to have to be really cautious about when and how I do this. Because ideally, the way I would do it is I would attack someone like Niskator or uh, Mirator um, to signal war rather than raid some town or township. Okay, so you're sitting... Okay, they're sitting there. Or Oros. And then immediately jump onto Legata and just try to form peace the moment I'm done. Where is Kaladog? Kaladog, you are... You just took Lenok Hen Castle. So they're hanging around a bit too much for me to make this plan work. I need to know where Kaladog is and where he's going. Because at the moment, um, my plan isn't going to work. Where are you, Kaladog? Last seen here three days ago? Well, that's not helpful. So there's only 45 defenders there. So I could swoop that up pretty quickly. Really hoping to get Legata. I was hoping that basically Batania would ride to Legata and I could kill the winner. All right, so I'm going to put this into effect here. You are cautious but honest but Krotor is your leader. So you're not... I can't... Convince you to swap sides. So what I'm going to do is... Deliver demands. Surrender or die. Yield or fight. I'm going to declare war on him. And then I'm going to see, besiege the city. Bowman! Soul department! Infantry! So not at least I don't have to raid a town or something I'm trying to figure out how they are attacking me
All right, so I'm going to let my crossbowmen um, free fire for a bit. Oh, I know who you are in the middle. Oh, it looks like his entire army's low level. They don't look well geared. Is this their... Who are you? Chopped up so quick. Oh, that's just an equite. Yeah, he is. A, he had a giant army of recruits. In no way is this going to be good for him. Has he been knocked out though? So this is going to be really good to. Um, bolster the amount of money I have, and then also, I'll probably release him, gaining some influence, uh, take a whole bunch of prisoners, level up as many people as I can, because I'm going to go straight into a siege, so there's really no time for grinding skills or anything. A ton of these recruits went up, which is perfect. I mean, I couldn't have planned that better. And then... Uh, maybe some of this equipment will be good for my brother, Noggand. So party, or rather equipment. Noggand will give you this junk bow. I know, it's terrible. Give you a little helmet. Let's sort by value, because usually the most valuable stuff is uh, going to be the good stuff. So you've got, you've got an okay horse. Um, that's actually a pretty good, pretty good helmet on you. you. You need is arrows. Okay, forget the bow because I don't even have arrows for you. All right. Well, Noggin, you're done. Heading to Legata. Besieging. And I have to hope that they won't get reinforced before backup comes. I'm going to rely on battering ram and siege towers. It's quite a big gamble here. All right, so here is some backup that's coming in. He's not sticking around because he doesn't. Oh, okay, here they have the numbers. Okay, well we'll fight them out in the field. Now I'm gonna to try to convince this guy to switch sides, probably ineffectively. But we'll see. I haven't actually checked what his... I need a critical success on this last conversation for it to work. Oh, there's no critical success option, so yeah, I, I'm not gonna be able to convince him. Um, okay, well, attack. So now it's going to be up to strategy. Uh, let's get the Archers! high ground with our archers. So form a loose. The field! And then. Forward! Okay, come on camera. So they have a bunch of horse archers. Out. I'm trying to get my units in position. I'm going to do everything I can to try to diminish their horse archers' dominance here. Without dying. My sharpshooters are actually doing a pretty good job. And... Putting my units in formation. Okay, 
Now they have like no formation here. They're kind of amorphous, uh, which is really in my own advantage. Riders. I'm telling my cavalry to take charge of themselves. Oh, here he is. That's a that's a king right there. That's a or not a king, a vassal. And he's downed. Now I'm trying to leverage my um Leverage my crossbowmen, who are very strong against their infantry, who is not. Comparatively. Also very hurt, so I have to be careful about how much I expose myself here. Ranged reinforcements coming in. Trying to do as much damage as I can without dying because I'm already well below half health. Looks like I'm going to win this, but it will be a Pyrrhic victory. We were outnumbered, so still it's good, I guess. But it does mean that I'm not going to have the numbers to take that town, uh, castle, I don't think. So here's their reinforcements who are fleeing. I'm gonna aim for their higher level units. Oh, wow, they are already at the edge of the map. Never mind. there's no no time to get them. Who's left? Everyone's running after someone that's over here. Oh, who are you? Is this one of the lords? Is this a vassal? No, nope. just an elite cataphract whose morale is high enough that he chose not to retreat. Down you go. Alright, so definitely a Pyrrhic victory. We had 35 deaths and a ton of wounded. Um, but I think we fought well. I'm going to release them. It levels up my char uh, charm and influence. I'm going to take everyone as prisoner. I don't care if I'm over limit. Take everything I possibly can. And I really need to lift the siege, unfortunately, because I just don't have the numbers at this point. So, uh, first thing I want to do is to head to ransom off these prisoners because they're going to escape really, really, really quickly. Um, let's do in bloom. Oh, boy. So, yes, they have some mega armies around me. All right, let's ditch some of these prisoners. So we have to ditch like 30 of them. I'll ditch the lower level ones. They don't have a lot of low-level ones. And this is for, like, party speed. So I don't want Sanyon's party to catch me. Or, or any of them. God, there's so many parties after me. 
All right, Varen Castle is under siege. That's kind of not surprising at all. And I don't exactly have the numbers to deal with about that. All right, uh, Ransom and Trade. Uh, before we trade, let's half-heartedly attempt to equip Noggand. We can give him a charger. That's cool. A bow and some arrows. I didn't even check if that's what he wanted. Uh, there is some really good armor here. That's gonna be mine. Noggin, you get the hand-me-downs. So how's this helmet? Uh, this helmet's better too. What about these gloves? No, mine are better. Okay, Noggin. Twenty boots? Anyone need twenty boots? I don't think so. Oh, you do. Um, done. So Noggin's actually pretty well geared now. I think what I'm going to need to do is try to make peace, because there's really no way I'm going to beat this army. Uh, let's see if there's someone I can talk to quickly. Honoratus. Our realm should make peace. Nope, they aren't going to have it. Oh, apparently they're happy to make peace for no cost. I'll take it. Now, the advantage here is um, I get to keep Varon Castle. And uh, I got to whoop some of the... Southern Empire Army. Uh, the disadvantage, of course, is I didn't get Legata. Um, that was... That was a bit of a gamble. I gambled big. It didn't work. Uh, what I will do is... Roll my troops. All the ones that have experience to level up. And we will wait and lurk for another opportunity like the one that we had that we, you know, they just had too many, they honestly just had too many, uh, too, too many reinforcements that showed up. But we got a, uh, you know, I, I got some pretty strong armor now. If you take a look at me, I'm, I'm pretty decked, uh, which is good. And we'll grab as many recruits as we can. Are you? Yeah, you're Valandian. Good. Ready to strike for the next weak target. All right. We can also ditch, sell some of this stuff. So that's a good amount of money to uh, to fund our war efforts. Actually, I think Sargat doesn't even have enough uh, reset. They don't even have enough money to pay for what we're selling them. So excuse my trade here. All right, there we go. And let's hit up another town. Let's hit up uh, Jacqueline 
and uh, and receive even more money. So yes, we gambled and it didn't work, but we did make a whole bunch of money that will help fund our next attack. And we formed peace for free, which is pretty awesome. I couldn't have planned for an easier way out of that situation. So selling this is another 10k, that's great. They have stupidly cheap olives, so let me buy a bunch, and really cheap fish. What else do you have? Actually, this town is stacked full of cheap provisions. Uh, capacity exceeded. Okay, that's good enough. And, uh, do you guys have a weapon for me? I've been looking for a weapon for ages now. I really need to just buy it. Build it. I'm looking to buy it, but to build it. Uh, what about recruits? I know that I'm bringing in a bunch of low-levels, low-level recruits, but uh, it just is what it is, right? Maybe you find a nice, big, thick stack of looters to level them up or something. Wow, Noggin, you didn't even get hurt? There's no point in chasing, like, single-digit looters. I mean, that's not going to be enough experience to effectively do anything. How many mountain bandits are here? Wow, I can't even tell? What nonsense is that? I thought I had good scouting skill. Alright, so just a few more and we'll be full. Alright, we'll full up. Now let's return back to the front around Len Lanark Hen Castle and Legata to see if there's a, a time to strike. We still have about 17 more troops in traction, so, you know, giving them time to recover would be good. Hey, what are you doing here? Well, Tenos, get off of Golurin. Let's see, are you... You're daring and generous. Desporian's your father who's cruel. So yeah, I don't... I don't really want to talk to you. But it kind of looks... Loki looks like you're raiding me? Which I'm not cool cool with. Alright, Legata still looks pretty weak. Minna. Who's your... Oh, wow. Your father's a real jerk. Real proper jerk. Andros. So I'm trying to size up how many, how much backup would immediately show up if I sort of, you know, try to take Legata again. It looks like a decent amount. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be easy. It wouldn't be a walk in the park. I'd, it'd be a bit of, bit of a fight. Are you coming to reinforce it literally? Yep, she just parked herself inside. Is there another uh, town under siege? Because I know Omor flipped, but I think at this point, that's not an easy target. Some Southern Empire versus Kuzate battle just went down, but I'm not really sure where that happened. Uh, Abron, let's take a look. Abron was last seen near Sinopa. So... A big battle just happened at Sinopa. Okay. I'm going to take a look to see if there's anything weakened around there. There may be. Kind of a long ride, but I don't mind. Got plenty of food to feed my army. I still have troops recovering, so 
All right, so it looks like the towns around Reso, Resos is being sieged. Probably by Kuzit. So maybe some of the territories, t uh, castles and towns around here are weakened. Uh, Varagos is definitely not weakened. Sinopa is not weakened. I mean, it is, but not, not enough for me to take it for sure. Let's take a look at Resos Castle and then ride back to Legata area. So Legata was still pretty weak. Alright, here is the big army. They're ripping through. So, so the Southern Empire has a Eastern Front, which might draw their ability to defend Legata away. Because they're getting hit pretty hard over here. So now might be a really good time for me to... To make a push. Someone leveled up. Uh, my stewardship. Plus one more companion. Or if I'm leading a siege, any party leaving or entering must engage first. Let's do that. As much as I love companions. Be, uh, making sieges more difficult for enemies sounds wonderful. If that's a perk that even works, it might not be. Yeah, it looks like uh, it looks like the Southern Empire is being. Um, let's check their kingdom strength. So the kingdom strength is smaller than Kuzait. They're also against no, they're just against Kuzait right now. So they formed peace with uh, Botania, which is not good for me. But Kuzait seems to be winning, or at least raiding a lot more than they are. It looks like they're counter raiding Sinopa. So. If I could get Aboletos out of Legata, Legata would be pretty raidable. Uh, Aboletos. A, B. Okay, let's take a look at him. So you are daring and generous. And you are your own vassal. So let's talk to you. Uh, let's go to the keep. Lord's Hall, and see if I can't... He's, he, he'd be a decent vassal, and having him flip on a town that he's sitting on would be great. Critical success is a good start. Oh, three out of four. Four out of four. Now, make sure that... You don't require stupid amounts of payment, which you do. <sighs> I just don't know. I just don't know. <sighs> Part of me thinks I should siege it anyway. But if I could get him to leave, it would be so much easier. Because then he couldn't reinforce it without having to fight me, essentially. Um, so I'm paying out the nose for my troops and food and all that. Omor just flipped. To Kuzate again. Amor's got to be really weakened, but obviously Legata is a lot closer to where I want to be. I don't think I could win against 240 defenders, if I'm being honest. It just that's a bit that's a bit much. Unless I had unless I had the time to build up a considerable. Oh, did he leave? Oh, he left. Unless I had considerable time to. Um, okay, so here here's what we're gonna do. I am going to declare war on them again. It's going to destroy my influence, but all for the chance at a town. Because for once, I might be able to besiege a town, but uh, I'm just about out of time. 
for this episode. So this is going to have to be for next episode, this big old gamble. If you have any tips, tricks, feedback from me, do drop me a line in the comments below. I wanted to thank you all for watching. Hopefully, we'll have a successful seat on, on Legata, and I'll somehow recover my influence. I'll catch you all later. Adios, friends.